Hey, Mike with Nerd Problems Gaming here, and today's video will be doing an unboxing on Resident Evil 3, the board game, so let's get into it. All right, so now that we got the game out, let's jump in and see what's inside. Now, Resident Evil 3, the board game, is a survival horror game, similar to the video games, and it's based on that. And so you'll play as different survivors trying to get out of Raccoon City. And so you'll face hordes of monsters and zombies, while you're trying to escape and make it through the various scenarios. So again, some classic familiar favorites like Jill Valentine. You'll see different monsters like the zombie dogs as you go through. And then you'll have the different weapons and items from the series. And so it is kind of a scenario based dungeon crawler puzzle type game where you'll need to explore the map find different key items, which can unlock new campaigns and new scenarios. And so you can play the game as kind of a standalone scenario one at a time, or you can go through a full campaign trying to make it all the way through the game. So it's looking pretty cool, pretty in depth for sure. And if you've played any of the earlier Resident Evil games, I'm sure you'll recognize this screen here. That's awesome. But then it has the different scenarios kind of laid out that you'll go through in areas that are locked. There's also a couple expansions for the game. So you can learn more about those here. And then this is the scenario booklet. So I'll just quickly kind of go through this. I don't really wanna ruin all the scenarios for you, but you can see that there's a lot in here, different maps, different challenges, layouts of the game and so again you can play cooperatively with other players trying to beat the scenarios and campaign or you can play by yourself in a solo mode now these are the different map tiles available looks like they're double-sided as well so definitely a lot of places you'll visit and areas that will be familiar to you if you've played the resident evil games like the Raccoon City Police Department, for example. Looks like that's what this one is here. So that's cool. And again, I'm sure it'll have that survival horror feel to it, facing off against the different zombies. But then also trying to survive, taking damage, making your way through the different scenarios in the campaign. But again, lots of graphics straight out of the game, like the health gauges here. That's really cool. Again, more classic locations from the game. Nice. Now onto the miniatures here. All right, so this one looks like kind of a raging nemesis here. It's pretty cool. Definitely some nice details on the miniatures. Got Bazooka Nemesis here. So you'll probably face off against Nemesis in multiple different forms. There's another creature. Pretty crazy looking. All kinds of bioweapons. Huge monsters like from the game. A big worm here. That's pretty cool. Again, another crazy monster here. I'm really liking the miniatures. Very detailed, which is awesome. I got a bunch of different zombies here as well. So here's one of the zombie forms you'll encounter. Nice. So there's a row of those. Another row here of these zombies. Again, great miniatures for sure. Got some lady zombies here. Cool. 
I don't know if these will be stronger or weaker depending on how the zombies look or they're just kind of all the same. We've got the different characters that you can play as. I believe this one is Jill Valentine. Nice. Another soldier here. Not sure who all the characters are. Can't quite remember. It's been a while since I played the original Resident Evil. Last one I played was the Resident Evil 3 remake. It's the most recent one I've gone through, but I've played Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil Village as well. So I'm sure some of these characters haven't made it all the way through those many games. soldier character here. Nice. So I don't know if these characters will have kind of advantages and disadvantages or not. We'll see when we jump into the game more fully. Got the zombie dogs here. So they're looking pretty sweet. Nice. Alright, now we got some equipment cards. So, so shotguns you can find, assault rifles, grenade launchers, different types of handguns, magnums, upgrade parts, different keys and lock picks to get to different areas. So again, kind of just like the game, so that's really cool. I'm sure you'll need to collect these different items to access new areas of the map and different scenarios so I'm excited to see how that works hopefully it has a feel similar to the video games which it seems like it will again different items from the games more weapons here handguns some first aid spray bullets knives cool all right we got another set of cards here look like different areas that will unlock and that are locked by different items that you need to find again looks like these might be areas that are locked that you'll need to have items and keys to get through. We've got different herbs like the video game, the green herbs and red herbs. I wonder if you can combine those or not to make them more powerful. More bullets, gunpowder. This was definitely in the game too where you could combine different types of gunpowder to get different types of bullets. Again, more parts, first aid sprays, cool. Again, now we've got different cards, kind of look like statuses. This might happen if you're searching areas. I guess we'll see what that means. Or if you've cleared an area of zombies, maybe that's a thing too. But, looks like there'll be a lot of events maybe that happen throughout the game as well that you'll run into. Zombie hordes. Nice. Alright, we've got different kinds of dye here. So we've got red ones with targets and bullets. Just your regular six-sided dye. It's got a cool umbrella symbol on it. I like that. And then also blue ones. So I think these will determine whether you get a hit or can dodge enemy attacks, whatever the case might be. So those are cool custom die. All right, we've got more cards here. Looks like these might be enemy abilities, potentially, and what they can do to you. So that'll be nice to figure out. Got 
enemy character cards here. And their different stats, health amounts, damage they can do, movement. More cards here. Looks like there may be choices that you can choose between on the cards in different scenarios. More character cards here. We've got Jill Valentine, Nikolai, Carlos, Mikael, and a couple more all clear cards. Nice. All right, guys, well, that wraps up this unboxing of Resident Evil 3, the board game. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, a really cool survival horror based dungeon crawler set in the Resident Evil 3 universe. And if you wanted to pick up a copy of this game, there'll be a link in the description below where you can do so. But definitely stay tuned for a future video where we go through a full review on the game once we've had some more time to play it. Well, again, hopefully you enjoyed that unboxing video on Resident Evil 3, the board game. If you did, be sure to smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. If you'd like to pick up a copy of this game, there'll be links in the description below where you can do so. And if you like videos like this on video games, board games, and everything nerdy, definitely check out one of our other videos here. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get the latest updates of new nerd videos we put out. But once again, thanks for tuning in, and we'll talk to you more soon.